Hello and hi. Welcome into the Jam Happy Hour. It is Jana jumping in uh, today at the virtual tasting room in downtown Napa uh, for a great hour of music and conversation and maybe getting to know a new artist that you may or may not be familiar with, but you will be after this hour. She's absolutely fantastic. Under the moniker Beauty Queen, Katie is joining us today. Hi. Hi. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for jumping into our GM Happy Hour with us today. Uh, I believe you're coming in from Los Angeles? Yes, I am. Oh, I guess that makes us officially bi-coastal. I am coming in from Florida. So East Coast, West Coast, we all get along. Yes, typically. <laughs> <laughs> I have been listening uh, to your music for the last few days. And I have to tell you, you have a really kind of a beautiful... It's like half sassy, half vibey... Uh, emotional but yet comfortable like i really like your sound so much and i'm excited to get to know you better yay thank you yeah, um, it's been developing over the years i know, i mean i've been like i've been reading like i don't i never wanted to say to an artist like oh um you're just coming on the scene or oh you're just here it's like but um how long have you been putting music out actively I think since 2017 or 18, mm -hmm. so it really mm -hmm. hasn't been that long. <laughs> Which, you know, it's for someone who hasn't really, like, you hear these horror stories of these people that have been, like, cranking away for, like, 10, 15, 20 years. Like, at what point did the music bug bite you and you're like, I got to do this. Like, I really have to go for this. Well, I think when I moved to San Francisco, because mm -hmm. before then I hadn't tried to write any songs and I didn't really perform music mm -hmm. uh so then when i moved to san francisco i met some people in local bands and then i just decided maybe i should start writing my own songs and then i did and then that's when it started blossoming and i've been learning all about production and mm. all the other things fun things it's endless it is endless i have to yeah. tell you i'm a bit of an audio <laughs> nerd like myself oh. like <laughs> I when I first got in front of like a Pro Tools or like all of these like incredible programs that they use in the studio to like mend and blend and meld and do a crazy stuff with vocals and, and music and stuff. Like that, I was like, oh, oh, you have my attention. <laughs> oh, like I always really? loved music. <laughs> but like when I saw what they could do with it, that's why I was like, I became an audio nerd. Now, did you start wow. playing music or did you start singing? I started, well, I took piano lessons when I was five uh, until like 10 and I just couldn't stand it. And my teacher had to bribe me with these little like tortilla chips um, at class. And then I stopped until I was 18. And then I was like, wait a second, I should have tried harder to do that. And then I kind of tried to learn. I can like read a class, like I can read okay. sheet music decently, sure. but... I can't like jam, you know. <laughs> uh, so I guess I started playing, but then I was always like singing in the car and stuff. Mm -hmm. So do you play like music almost like phonetically? Like if you're not really like reading, you're just kind of like feeling it and learning it and going with it? Yeah, I've been like through the, uh, since I've been like writing my own songs, I've been trying to just, yeah, just like see what goes with what down here oh, instead of reading like usual but I, <laughs> I can't read like music anymore it. like you I learned it in school and now I'm like oh, yeah oh, big note little note I, you know. I know I get really sweaty whenever anyone asks me to jam with them <laughs> you're like, like oh, um <laughs> anything could happen <laughs> uh so you're performing under the name beauty queen which mm -hmm. I there is so much attached to those two words. What an interesting moniker to take on. Uh, when did you decide that, yep, that's the one for me? Because you are beautiful, but I mean, well, when you say beauty queen to people. Well, I definitely know. don't mean it like that. <laughs> I have struggled with that name as, as of recent because when I started the band, it was very like surf rock, like mm -hmm. 50s kind of thing. And so I was also in Greece the musical at the time Ooh. as Cha Cha the dancer <laughs> girl. Love. Um, so I thought that Beauty <laughs> Queen was like I was all up in that 
that whole world of Greece. almost like like fifties <laughs> pinup. Yeah, like. But then the music's been changing uh, since then, so I'm not sure that that totally fits with it anymore. But mm-hmm. I still like it, and it's easily recognizable. I feel like. Oh yeah. My, my name itself isn't like the big name and lights name You're that like, some Katie. people have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great name but beauty queen i'm like that's fun like just google beauty queen and see what happens and just have fun oh yes there's a lot going on there well let's change the perception of that shall we yes um uh, like i said i'm already a big fan of your music i'm very much looking forward to hearing some of it live will you go ahead and jump in and play song for us yes awesome i will all right this is one of my new ones yay okay here we go I don't know when I'll get to them Time keeps moving Things get busy People keep calling Asking if I want 200 bucks a day To just pay rent I feel I feel stupid But how do you ask for something TV Scotty be me But how do you ask for someone to change the weather How do you crack a system that doesn't get you I guess I'll just keep on dreaming Please somebody pinch me away Dances in the rain. <laughs> that is so good. Thanks. Your lyrics. A couple of love. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Going with that. Your lyrics. Your lyrics are very uh, real world. And, you know, I, like especially like I latch on to like lines here and there, like credenzas in the rain. Like <laughs> how many times have you been moving out of an ex's house or something's up and of course it starts raining or you can't get in the damn truck and it's just so super frustrating. And <laughs> like you've got really great lyrics. Are, are they coming from your life? Are they coming from real experiences or like themes? Uh, some of them, these new ones are, um, that one's about of my life working in the art department, mm-hmm. uh, for film and stuff. I do production design and art stuff. So, cool. uh, I was actually moving credences in the rain, <laughs> driving a box truck around Los Angeles and it was really a day it was a long day nobody wants to drive a box truck trust <laughs> no, me but especially no. in the rain especially, especially in, in the los rain angeles. in los angeles <laughs> no it's terrible very scary <laughs> yes. like slightly terrifying not kidding yes no that was real um, no it's been immortalized in lyrics oh big time big time <laughs> 
uh, yeah. <laughs> And I do appreciate that. I do really like the, uh, the the real life instances in and in, in the music that you're putting out right now. And it's interesting because you said you know you kind of started off in this like you know like surfer vibe. I know uh, you're originally from Maui. Yes. <sighs> Bucket list. I've never <laughs> been. Can you describe it in like three words? Uh, windy. Ooh. Uh, okay, breezy. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> breezy. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, relaxing mm. and overrun with tourism. Mm. <laughs> right. But that's fine. It's fine. They'll figure it out. I'll figure. I'll get there one day. I really, you can really get will. there. I'll let you go. Thank you. Can you. Be a you know, once the, like, <laughs> when they let us back in, I'll go to the non-tourist areas. You can tell me where okay, to go. That good. Um, that has to have a huge influence, though, on you and and and, and you know, what you grew up with and what you were into. Like, can you play the ukulele? Yes, but not like the pros. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's become a real thing. Oh. Recently. People for are sure, really shredding that. But so you go from uh, Hawaii and Maui to Los Angeles. That had to be a culture shock. Yes. Well, I actually went to college in Baltimore, and that was an extra culture shock. But then well, I you came like back to be near and water, it. and that's yes, important. <laughs> yes, I do like being near the water, and um, I did love Baltimore a lot. I was there for five years. Oh, I love yeah, like all the history and whatnot there. But then mm -hmm. you like. You come back to the West Coast. You've got all this experience kind of like packed away. Yeah. And then you find yourself in L.A. Yes. And the music comes. And you find yourself now an artist. And and like I, we talked briefly before, you got a really good team. You got really great songs. Like where do you see this going? Well. I like to not put too much weight in anything because I have lots of interests in uh, all aspects of performance. Like okay. us, I studied set design, so I like to build the sets for, say, music videos, and I also like to make my own. And I think I would like to play more music. I, you know, I like to continue doing this, obviously, and just seeing the types of people I meet and then just seeing what happens with it. Um, I'd like to play, like go on a tour finally, maybe. I meant to go on a big one before COVID, but it got canceled. So. Well, I know It'll you got a show coming again. up. You got a show coming up in a <laughs> yes, couple of days. Do. Friday the 13th is very spooky show. Hey, it works for Taylor <laughs> Swift. I mean, yeah, it's her favorite day. Go with it. It's it gonna is? be a great it's day. How do you know that? <laughs> I work in pop radio. It's okay, you're right. That's kind of my job. To do that. <laughs> but uh, it works out really well for her, so I'm sure it's going to be a great day for you. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I, I, it should be good. I mean, after this last year and a half that we've all had, I mean, obviously part of it, you know, is suited to staying home and working on music and, you know, being able to kind of like be in this bubble of working on yourself and your music. But at the same time, it's like you're craving all this uh, interactivity with other creative people or other artists or other music or other genre like how did the pandemic treat you so far like were you okay with it or did you were you just ready to bust out well at first it was I mean I didn't really mind it at first because mm -hmm. I really like gardening and I happen to be in a family's home as I mentioned, babysitting, uh, they mm -hmm. had a pool, so I was kind of lounging in the pool. And not mad at that. Uh, yeah, at first. Um, <laughs> but then my pandemic was a little different because uh, my dad actually passed away, uh, so I had to go home, and then mm -hmm. I was kind of in that world for like six months. So that took up a lot of my that. time, so I didn't really like think about music too much mm -hmm. and then some of the new songs like came out of that and then I came back here and I've really been quite busy like working on my garden and doing all kinds of self-care yeah self-care but I've been pretty productive too so um I find ways to keep myself busy yeah you have to <laughs> I, I unfortunately went through the same experience you did 
And uh, yeah, it puts a big different perspective on the pandemic yeah. from some to the others. And what was really interesting and a really great full circle thing for us is I inherited my dad's car, uh, a 1970 Chevelle Super Sport oh. with an eight track. Oh and I gosh. have the eight tracks. <laughs> wow. And it still works. And so I That's sit in the garage and I put in the Captain and Tennille eight track and I just let it run and I let the music play. And um, oh my gosh. really random. And I I have the the album art memorized from that random eight track that I now have. And it has a big old puppy dog on it and big glasses and Captain and Tennille and all their 70s fabulousness. And I know you are a huge animal lover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I know you foster. We met your cat earlier <laughs> crawling through. Like when it comes to animals versus humans, <laughs> if you had to pick one. Which one are you going with? I don't know. I've met a lot of different <laughs> kinds of animals fostering. Some of them I like. Some I'm like, okay, have fun in your new home. Kind of like humans. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and these cats, I uh, they're subletting for a month. Not the cats, oh. but the cats' owners. Okay. So I only get to experience the cats. And they're now locked away in the room over there. But apparently so they, they like the music. They love it. They'll like they'll like be sitting here and put their paws on my chest while I'm trying to play. Oh, that's, that's kind of sweet. They're wild. They're bold <laughs> cats, I'd say. Well, I'm a Leo, so yes, we're all bold little uh, felines. Yes. <laughs> um, I know you said right when the pandemic was like kind of kicking off, you were going to go on a tour. I know you just put an EP out. You had music out there. Like your babies were like out into the world, and mm -hmm. then everything kind of came. You like. But it did give you a chance to, you know, obviously go through some things, but also to focus back in on music. And you said that's when the sound kind of changed a little bit. Like, what did we go from yeah. A to B? Mm, yeah, well, the first stuff is uh, is very, like, synth heavy. And then mm -hmm. the tracks I released right before the pandemic with the band Tennis are, like, really synthy and, like, mm -hmm. poppy. Mm -hmm. And then now the new ones are more just like acoustic like uh i'm playing piano on all of them which is cool because i've never yeah. played just the regular old piano on them mm -hmm. uh so yeah they're more kind of 70s piano based i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> and more lyrically driven than the other ones i think Rather i mean than vibe driven <laughs> i when I first got into this business a long, long time ago, and I've been in radio for about 25 years, and I had heard uh, that men hear melody and women hear lyrics. Now, obviously, there are some that cross over and think differently, but in my in, in my experience, that that's been true. Like lyrics will attach to a story or to a memory, and like women will have them forever like that's my tune right there or that was my moment or that's what I felt like in that minute and a lot of time dudes are just like I like that song that's really good and, uh. you know, it doesn't kind of connect so I think that's why maybe I'm just like I'm loving the lyrics that you're putting out and the song that you put out just here recently with the real life um I, I loved your caption. I know you're like, you could dedicate it to your dad, to your barista, to your head, like <laughs> whoever you want. I'm just putting this out there. Like, how was that to finally, you know, kind of come through this whole crazy year and a half and then have this song and then put it out and have it be so well received? Oh, it was so fun. I always like putting out songs and it lets you collaborate with a bunch of people like the art, art people and photography and film and it's just so fun because you're it's so creative you're into all of it you're yeah. you're probably storyboarding and <laughs> all the whole thing uh, yeah it's so much fun so I always love that and then I have been working with my friends to like record more stuff and it's just great I love it. the whole process is fun it sounds like you really <laughs> really do um yeah. I know we certainly kind of get to just enjoy watching the fruits of your labor, you know, on a playlist, whether it be, you know, Spotify or iHeart or Tidal. Like, it, it's out there. Like, how crazy it to think that I can pick up my phone and I can put in your name or I can put in Beauty Queen and all of a sudden I've got a playlist that's ready to go. Like, is that a little surreal? That's pretty cool. It I love cool. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, my grandma can't open my songs, though. So she is having trouble 
figuring that out. It seems easy for us, but once you're over 90, you know, eh. it's it tough. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just got my mom using emojis, so I, I feel like it's a big victory. Oh, wow. That's but cool. if I had to put an emoji on your music, it would be the heart eyes and the smiley face. And uh, like I said before, I really do enjoy the vibe. And I would love to jump back in a couple more songs. If you could play yeah. like maybe two of them back to back and we can just kind of sit back and vibe out with Beauty Queen. Are you cool with that? Yes. Okay. This one's about my dad. This Aww. is, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll play two more new ones. Thank you. <laughs> Yesterday I was happy, feeling young and innocent Walking around, digging the sound, saving myself from sentiment Yesterday something happened, it all became so irrelevant My father growing weaker by the day If I could fast forward through life Just so he might get to see what I became Love remains, but what happens When it can no longer save the day Victim of a big town, honey Left after sundown, funny it's hard to believe I'm still here So is all that there's left to do Sing a little lie Is it trivial or almost livable? If I stay like you want me to Even I might feel like a Where did 
you go, my love, I'm afraid to understand. All I know is that I'll keep waiting for you to come around. As long as the sun goes That's why I love listening to your music. It is, even like when it's a sad song, it's like still good. It's still just like <laughs> such a hug. Like you don't, you don't get like pulled down in it. So, oh, I'm just loving it. We're doing a jam happy hour with Beauty Queen, AKA Katie here, um, virtually in the jam tasting room downtown Napa. Um, I, oh, real life is so good. That's just, <laughs> big big hugs on that one um where do i mean obviously i kind of know where that one may have come from but like where do songs come to you like as a songwriter like are you just like randomly like going down uh, you know the aisle at the trader joe's and you're like oh man that's good i gotta remember that uh, yeah <laughs> i think that's how that works because i've tried to like sit down and be like okay write a song and then i can't so I just have to wait until there's, I think of melodies first. So okay. I'll like hum something and then later I'll put the, try and like fit it all together stuff. So like, uh, like a stanza at a time or like. Yeah, like, typically I do the, like I happen to do the choruses first by accident and then, <laughs> and then I'll have to write a verse, which is hard. <laughs> Well, you're very good with your lyrics, so while you may think it's hard, uh, <laughs> it comes across as very easy as, you know, most uh, creatives do. So uh, you're killing it, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> I do invite everybody to, uh, you know, open up your iHearts or open up your Spotify's or your titles or wherever you're getting your music these days and just search Beauty Queen and Under Artist and just kind of like just enjoy you know, what you're going to find. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And I know that you put together a really good uh, Spotify playlist. <laughs> um, with some of your musical influences on it. And, you know, I've been in music for like a hot minute, mostly pop and alternative, but okay. there, there are a lot of artists on here that I don't know, and I'm really excited Ooh, about digging awesome. in on that. So, like, your musical like influences, can you kind of walk through us a little bit on, like, who do you like to listen to? I typically like to listen to... The old, 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 old people, <laughs> people that are old now, <laughs> they weren't always that way. But um, I mean, I don't know. I really like, obviously, Lindsey Buckingham's guitar playing. And Did songwriting. you see the news? <laughs> no. What happened? Apparently, the, uh, the old uh, Fleetwoods have been reaching out to him again. Oh, 
have they? <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently, Who I don't know. Who knows what's going on with them? Uh, Mick Fleetwood did open a restaurant in Maui called Fleetwood's. So that's funny. That's a perfect name. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it is a I, good uh, restaurant name. <laughs> I have seen Lindsay Buckingham uh, as a solo artist uh, perform and fantastic and yes the guitars is mm -hmm. yeah i mean there's i mean people think of like you know oh he's part of fleetwood mac like no 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 no. <laughs> like, yeah give the proper credit due like it's the guitars of fleetwood which right. you know helps make the song so iconic so i can understand why you would have him on your playlist yeah his guitar solo in silver spring is so beautiful and it fits you can feel their you know Whatever there was a lot of feeling there. going on there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we'll never know. But, uh, Pick a but feeling. yes, I like his playing a lot. I like Randy Newman's playing because it's funny and talented. And Is it really wrong fun. that I think a Toy Story? No. Because okay. they can't, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, but <laughs> the song I Love LA when I moved here, I don't uh. lie, I would drive, drive down the street. How could you not? It. I, I forgot about that. that one. Yeah, yeah that was one. a really big hit. Driving in the convertible down the street, the palm trees. The... Okay, I don't have a convertible. But, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> uh, but then, and then some of the tracks on there are friends of mine uh, that I think are really good. So. I didn't know you were so close with Electric Light Orchestra. That's so cool. Love them. <laughs> They're great. Yeah, so one of the new songs we tried to put some fun strings in there and some background <laughs> choral vocals <laughs> harmony so we'll see what does happens. anybody do that anymore i mean that's no, such a, like a lost probably sound won't be, probably won't be very popular but that's okay because <laughs> it's fun hey sean mendez tried to do it uh with his last album on a couple uh, of tracks i'll give the kid a little i'll give him a nudge like there was some big right. wall of sound like anthemic things going on there but it's not He's more, I don't know really, it's music. he's, he's pop, is he like popular. electron, popular guy, yeah, okay, cool, <laughs> that's all we need to know, that's okay, I, I know. got it now, I think. So if I dig into your, uh, your Spotify playlist a little bit, like when I'm picking up on like Mike Duncan or on Blonder, I mean, obviously Casey Musgraves, I could listen to on yeah, repeat, Blonder. but if, if the playlist had a vibe all in all, like what mood would you be, uh, kind of feeling in that just like nostalgic good times easy easy singable sing alongable ah. that's what sing i like to listen to things that i can just like bop along to is fun you know it's Even funny it's i uh, sad. <laughs> we do uh, lots of road trip obviously a lot of us are doing road trips versus you know flights and whatnot um these days but i have a 10 year old daughter and she's into music and you know obviously i think about you know, I grew up listening to Motown and Casey Kasem's Top 40 on the wall size radio um, and just music having such a huge influence on me. Like, what was the stuff that your parents were listening to that really have influenced you? Like, to this day, you're like, yep, that's it. Mm, do you know the band Poco? Yes. No, wait, actually, yes, I do. Yeah. They had one song, the one popular had, like, song, but one obviously song, they yeah. have many, many yeah, more. Yeah, but yeah. yes, yeah. Coco and um, Cold Blood. My mom was in a Cold Blood cover band, which is cool. She plays the flute. Lots of Jethro Tull going on. Clearly and, with the uh, flute. <laughs> yes. And then uh, my dad really liked, for some reason, he really liked playing latin bass lines <laughs> that's like what he wanted to try and do musically because okay. he didn't do musically but he um i would always catch him in his room like playing a wood block or like trying to learn a, <laughs> how to like a book of that kind of stuff which is funny and uh yeah pretty much just like your typical like the carpenters and mm -hmm. oh those harmonies my god yeah you see <laughs> we love I them yeah i mean it's definitely <laughs> worth diving back into and like you know yeah. pulling back out and just kind of listening to and like do you i mean obviously it still influences what you're doing but you know how do you feel like you're kind of pulling those influences from back then into like what you're trying to put out now because you do have a very modern sound i mean you can pick up yeah like the nostalgia notes and you know like maybe some cool like kind of throwback like you said like with the sense and stuff like that or just like a great piano line but it doesn't sound 
throwback. It sounds very much modern. Is that on purpose? Mm, um, hmm. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, because I don't want to be like just trying to re. Because I some people are trying to like really recreate, you know, like mm -hmm. the seventies, which is super cool. But I don't think I have like you have to do it really well. So I wouldn't want to be like cringy, like trying and like not really be able to do it. So I'm just like, and I really like uh, the, you know, the pretty like reverby synths. So I like yeah. adding those things into to it. And I think that makes it less just like strict vintage <laughs> song. But you you're know? right. You know, like you talk about there being so much 70s influence out there, like just like scanning across, you know, pop culture, you've got Bruno Mars, who is very much doing 70s right now. Uh, Ash has a great throwback vibe, which I love. Harry Styles is doing pretty darn well with a throwback vibe uh -huh. uh, that he's got going on in his music. And there's even new Elton John coming out on Friday. And it's new music. It has a very throwback vibe to it, but maybe I shouldn't mention I've already heard that, but it's good. And... <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, 70s are, is very much a part of this current musical scene. Why do you think that is? I think because it's like the most fun music. It's like, <laughs> it is cool. It sounds cool with whatever word yeah. you think that word means. But like, <laughs> it's it sounds like casual and like acoustic. And it still has like energy in it. Yeah, Because I think the the like high quality projection that was happening for a long time mm -hmm. with like pop is really cool too but it's also mm -hmm. nice to have it like stripped down a little bit no i, I can think. see that yeah. i also think there's probably a comfort factor to it too it's almost like comfort food uh comfort music like again music nerd i have access to a lot of music research and people are more so into the songs they already know and whether that song's from five years ago or from 15 yeah. years ago 25 years ago oh my god do the math 35 years ago yeah. 45 years ago shit, i have a 1970s car 50 years ago mm -hmm. it's comfort food in the form of music yeah but kind of repackaged and speaking of which um I know that that influence is very much in your music, and I would love to hear uh, maybe a couple more songs from you. Yeah. If, uh, you want to jump in and let us know. It's a Jam Happy Hour with uh, Beauty Queen, a.k.a. Katie, and her amazing style. And uh, we're just so thrilled to be hosting you and uh, sharing your music. Yay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here I go. Out of line, or all my problems part of someone else's life. I'm on a high, my solitude and made me blind. I only want to make it right. It's just the two of us, honey. It's just the two of us. They'll have nothing to do with. Sunny and I will be fine. Most of the time, I'm seeing through these ordinary lives out of my mind. My solitude has made me blind. I only want to make it. to do with us honey they'll have nothing to do it's just the two of us honey it's just the two of us they'll have nothing to do with us honey and i will be fine This last one is another song written in COVID. 
Spend some time at a friend's house in the mountains Playing in the snow, watching Jeopardy I could have stayed living free and easy But I packed up my coat for you Now I'm stuck in a place where people are dreaming Of cul-de-sacs and Disney World I feel okay, I'm in my bathing suit But is this what I'm supposed to do? I don't know I don't know I'm dressed for all kinds of weather But none seem to suit you Moving apartments again When my mom called to tell me to get home Cause dad was getting worse so I hopped on a plane in a hazmat suit to see what it was coming to. Now it's been a month with Archie and it feels like I've been to Goodwill a hundred thousand times. Giving away little pieces of you that I'm never gonna use. What am I gonna do? I don't. save you I'm keeping to myself these days hovering around making sure my plants don't die there's no changing I'm alone but that doesn't mean that I'm low I'm dressed for all kinds of weather with nothing to lose. <laughs> I think I get that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, both of the songs super fantastic. And I laugh um, at uh, two of us, the first song that you performed, because I did watch the video on that. Oh, you did? It's oh the love goodness. story of two Sasquatches. That was one of my favorite videos. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, Lee, I mean, obviously the song is not about two Sasquatches. I don't think so. But that envisioning, <laughs> that creative, that storytelling, you've got to give me the scoop behind that. Because, I mean, <laughs> my daughter and I would just like watched it like five times. Like, <laughs> yes. this is great. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. I have a couple friends who do like uh, our clowns. And okay. uh, they do physical comedy stuff, so why not dress them up as Sasquatches? And I loved that there was a cold open of like a long time before the song starts, and it's just like a skit, which was cool. It I mean, you got to have fun with it. Yeah, that was awesome. And then my friend rolling down the hill in a trash can was <laughs> pretty terrifying, actually, because he really started going and somebody had to run and stop him or else we don't know what would have happened to him. And you're like, hey, beer's on me tonight. <laughs> it was Thanks. his idea. He was like, what if I got in this trash can? And it was the actual park trash can that had like metal, rusted metal, like oh, no. <laughs> burned out on the bottom. Now we're getting tetanus here, Katie. Like, da, calm da, down. Da, that's his <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, welcome into the Jam Happy Hour tonight. We are with Beauty Queen Katie here with us. And uh, like, I'm a big fan of the music. Like, obviously, uh, I saw, actually saw that video before I knew that you and I were going to be talking tonight because I remember really? seeing it just being like what is this and then obviously like you know liking the That's song awesome. and doing a little bit of a deep dive into it so I, I toast you with my butter and I mean I'll, I'll, you know, when, when the work is done um oh, lovely <laughs> lovely lovely um you've had some uh, again we jump back into the lyrics uh, in your second song uh, that definitely hit home uh, with me, and especially the lyric, I hopped on a plane in a hazmat suit. Did you do that? I yeah. did do that, yeah. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, so uh, <sighs> off camera, Katie and I uh, uh, bonded over uh, pandemic breakups and uh, long distance ones at that. And 
it was very interesting to fly back and forth in the beginning all of this and I don't know if you have the same experience, but you've got your mask on, you've got your headphones on, I had a hoodie on, I mean, I'm completely wrapped up and I felt very much in a bubble. And on that flight, I mean, on a handful of flights, it's like, I found it very easy to think. Yeah. Almost too easy to think. I don't, yeah, that was pretty terrifying. My flight was like five hours both times, so it was... Yeah. Getting over That's there. That's a long one. That's a long flight. Yeah. <laughs> Being like, can they are they breathing on me? I don't know. Did so that like, song kind of come from that place? Or is that like once you got back and you got settled and you're like, plants are good, I'm good, everything's good. <laughs> like, did is that when that song came out? I kind of like wrote it um actually each part like as I was being in all those parts. Mm -hmm. So I started it in Lake Arrowhead me and my partner at the time were like hiding out in our friend's house like in the nice. snow being like oh it's just gonna be like two weeks this is so fun and then he freaked out we had to go babysit in Florida for a few months and then I wrote the Disney World verse and I was a little bitter you know I'm and sorry. then <laughs> I went to then I had to fly home for my dad and to Hawaii so that was actually 10 hour flight oh and um and Girl. then so I wrote that there and then now I'm back with my plants so you know you must have a fun. lot of material a lot just, of, well, yeah. it's just ready. put it on that one song <laughs> <laughs> now it's uh, <laughs> like a two minute song <laughs> can you as as an artist and as a creative and as a songwriter can do, do you think you have like a good radar for like when you hear these other songs that you like whether it's a good mood song or an angry song or whatever do you feel like they're coming from like an actual like real life experience with the artist do you kind of like since you seem to write from a very real place can you hear it when others do it as well you're like that happened yeah i think so but maybe not in the newer stuff it's hard to tell but mm -hmm. the, in the in the older uh, kind of songwriting stuff, I feel like you, it seems pretty from the soul. Yeah. But who How knows? You... Maybe they're just good uh, song or just. I writers. mean, they could be great. You know. Yeah. You know. Imagine I don't know. I, yeah. I tend to think like sometimes you're like, yeah, that totally happened. <laughs> 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 but okay, you can say it did, and that's fine. Uh, jumping back to the EP um, from 2019, like before pandemic like obviously you had you had a plan you had a tour you had all of these things that were ready to go and then you know life changes and everything you know kind of gets you know tossed into the dryer and now you come out in 2021 you're heading into 2022 like what's next for katie and for beauty queen well i've got a lot of music <laughs> that's about to come out um so i'm really excited for that and my first full length thing which will be awesome. The full um, thing. The full thing. Yeah, we recorded it two months ago. It was <gasps> awesome. Um, and we're still like working on stuff. But yeah, so there's tons of music. And then um, I don't know. I'm just trying to do fulfill my creative ideas every time and and just see what happens from it. Who knows? I, you know. <laughs> If I've learned anything in the last 18, 20 months, expect the unexpected. It's, yeah, it's fine. I'm not worried. Yeah, you can't, you know. I like a lot of stuff, so I'm just <laughs> doing my thing, and then uh, we'll see what happens. But I, I do have more than I typically do to release, so that's pretty cool to, like, be consistently working on it. Well, this now. day and age, you know, when artists have like new music, I mean, I, there used to be a plan. There used to be a set single release schedule, and then we're going to do promo, and then we're going to do, you know, radio, and then we're going to blah, 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 blah. It, it seems like, it, again, during this pandemic, that's gone completely out the window. And then, like, if you, the artist, you know, want to be like, oh, here's a single, boom, drop it. Like, do you kind of have a plan for how it's all going to come out? Are you going to go like all crazy Taylor <laughs> on us and like drop an album overnight? Um, no, because I'm not as well known as Taylor, so I have to put <laughs> some could. work into it. I'm encouraging you to. <laughs> well, I like the, the fact that you can just release things like whenever you want. That's pretty fun, but I kind of like to have a little bit of an idea, although what happens typically is my idea for like the artwork comes 
af- way after it should have been like uh, <laughs> given to someone. <laughs> so like, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, this was a good idea. <laughs> Put that on, and they're like, no, it's too late. That's but, what you can throw up on your Instagram, you know, last yeah, minute. Like, yeah, this is what I was thinking. This is what I meant. <laughs> this would have been way cooler than what's on. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I like to have a little bit of a plan, but. Yeah, I like to also just focus on the music stuff. So I don't really have no idea, you know, all the algorithm stuff. Oh, I and I don't know how that works. So <sighs> I unfortunately do. And it changes every day. So don't <laughs> no. worry with it. Just do yeah, you and just be do you. It. And, yeah, yeah. And just have fun with your music. And, you know, uh, again, thanks everybody who uh, is tuning in for the Jam Happy Hour with Beauty Queen, Katie here. And uh, we do look forward to that, that new music coming out here soon. And, you know, if there's one thing that we have learned out of this pandemic is, you know, everybody's more connected than ever. Even though we were kept apart for so long, like here, you and me, I'm hanging out in your house. You're hanging out in my house or AKA the, you know, jam the downtown. Napa. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, these opportunities to actually like, you know, talk with your fans and, and talk with, you know, people that want to discuss you and your music. Like, do you feel more connected even though we're kind of separated? I do. I've made a lot of like my friendships have really come together and Mm. I've made a big community over the pandemic, which I always wanted to have, but I was always like moving around. So like I, you know, it's hard to keep it. I have a close friends in lots of states, but there it's hard to keep in touch. So over the pandemic, it's been really nice because people have more time or have had more time to like focus on friendships and and then we've bonded so. Now, Girl, you and I have been living a, a parallel experience <laughs> yeah. here. Uh, I could not agree more. Like the yeah. friendships have definitely gotten tighter mm-hmm. and also the ability to connect has become more yeah. important, I think. And that's why I thank you for your music. It's it's very easy to connect to. I can definitely just like plug right into it and just like hear the story and hear the vibe. And Ed, do you have one more song for us? <gasps> yes. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, sure. Thank you. Um, let me do. Hmm. I'll do this. Uh, I'll do a song I made for a cartoon that my friend oh. is putting out. Yeah, it's really even cute. better. It's, okay. Yeah, it's cute. Fun. <laughs> Stand still. Don't look further than you need to know As long as we can keep dreaming somehow I miss being 17 Taking in the summer breeze Running around without any doubts Don't want to be Swimming in our underwear, fading it out, seeing the world through our eyes. I keep laughing when I think about the time we spilled a can of Coke on the carpet. Your mom was so pissed I miss being 17 Taking in the summer breeze Running around without any doubts Don't want to be anywhere But swimming in our underwear Fading it out Seeing the world through our Can I be 17 again? That sounds really good. <laughs> the cartoon is adorable. It oh. <laughs> Girl, you've got creativity all over the place. I love that. That is so cool. Thank you. And I love that you got to hang out with us here. You guys. Yeah, that um, was cool. Thank you. I hope uh, you, you you guys have maybe like had a little spark when you get to know about uh, uh, Beauty Queen music. Please check her out on all the socials. And if you want to do a little virtual tip, I know we're running her Venmo down below. Um, just because we want to say thank you for like putting out just like really good, fun, 
hug kind of like we're all in it together music which frankly is my vibe these days and, uh, have you been out to napa before i have i used to work for a florist so we used to go uh, but i have never been to the jam cellar well please cellar. do consider coming uh i mean we've got a beautiful uh room here in downtown napa oh, yeah. you can enjoy some music enjoy some wine just enjoy hanging out i, I look forward to when you and i can hang in person yeah. and uh, explore the music a little bit more i know the uh, single just came out you said the album's coming out soon um, we will keep our eyes on you. Yay! Well, it was lovely talking to you. <laughs> and you guys, please do go uh, hit the Spotify playlist, uh, search uh, Beauty Queen on all of your favorite stream platforms. The music is out there from the 2019 EP up to the music that she was playing for us uh, that just came out this year. And I send great big hugs and I send a big cheers to you. Enjoy your butter there yeah. in the background. And um, I look forward to next time. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, thank you. I tried to promote this. You're like, <laughs> hit the mic. Your Vanna is on point. <laughs>